Ha! The beautiful Kanto games. Red and Green were the first two games released by beautiful Pokemon. And a few years later, Blue came out. So it was like Red and Blue for US. And a few years later, we even got a remaster for these games. Far Red and Leaf Green. Now, there's something very, very interesting that you may already realize and may already know about this. Now, in Saffron, the city where you have to take down Team Rocket because of taking Sylph Cove, you see two gyms. Now, these two gyms are very, very similar. In fact, as you can see by these two I am posting on the screen, they're exactly the same. The difference is, one doesn't have a bloody door. One is not fancy enough, it seems. But when you read what the gym says, one states, Saffron Pokemon Gym, leader Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. While the other one just simply states, fighting dojo. Now, I'm Poketch, and today I bring you a theory video. What if we had two gyms instead of one? Sabrina was always the fun psychic user, right? Always this bright character. Well, <laughs> Maybe not in the anime, but still, she was actually a very fun character that we see in the games. And she's this elite user of psychic powers. So she, since she was a little girl, she always had these psychic powers. Although in the manga, in the Pokemon manga, we see a different Sabrina that we see in the anime, that we see in the games, and that we see in general. So the Sabrina we see in the manga is actually a Team Rocket grunt. Now. This is kind of a surprise for some people, and it's not that news for others. But Sabrina was considered like a, a prodigy in the eyes of Giovanni. So Giovanni was attempting to take over the world, or was he? Because some theories say that Giovanni was actually the good guy in the story, and you stopped him. But taking that out of the way, let's just focus here on the point. Now, Giovanni had this class of prodigies, and Sabrina was the highest of the prodigies. So she was in charge of a gym in Saffron. Although there was a counterpart gym that is the Karate Dojo. Now this fighting dojo and the gym that is run by Team Rocket, or in this case Sabrina, is two different stories. Now there's the fighting dojo guys, which is fighting types, and there's the psychic types. So basically, there was, let's say, a small war. Let's let's think for a second. Why do you think there's two gyms close to each other on a town run by Team Rocket? And according to the Pokemon stated, the Elite Four are a group of people that are supposedly to take care of the people around there. So basically, let's they work. Let's say they work as a cops, and gym leaders are elite people as well that are working towards the best of the world, let's say this. And why is a town full of Team Rocket Grunts trying to evade a bloody Sylph Corporation, which is the main resource of Pokeballs, not getting interfered by the gym leader that is in the town? Well, the reason for this is clearly stated on the manga. She was a Team Rocket user at some point. Now, we don't know if this remakes or even the, the next games will take place after this, but let's assume it's the same bloody thingy. Let's assume it's the same. Now, why didn't she stop Giovanni? Because she's working with Giovanni. Now, what if the, the gym, the fighting dojo, tried to, to stop them, but then the gym, which is psychic, took over because of advantage. As you can see, the, the master of the dojo only has a Hitmon Lee and a Hitmon Chan both at 37 and Sabrina got way more powerful Pokemons that one being her signature Pokemon Alakazam at 43 with Psychic, Calm Mind, Future Sight and a bunch of Hyper Potions now 
I have another thing to add. What if we had the two gyms instead of one gym? On generation 4 we got introduced to a brand new psychic slash fighting type. So we actually got Gale. So we know Ralts, Curlia and then Gardevoir. But if you got yourself a male Curlia and give it a downstone, you got yourself a male Gallade with Psychic and Fighting type. So that's insane. Although in Generation 6 we actually got the Mega Evolutions, so we got Mega Gallade and Mega Mewtwo X. So this was a brand new approach that Game Freak decided to do, combining Psychic and Fighting type. Now what if on these two gyms in Saffron, instead of these two gyms, they actually took everything down and combined themselves into one single gym. Thus being psychic and fighting type. I know this kind of sounds a bit crazy and a bit meh, but just think about it. What if instead of Sabrina and instead of the Dojo guy, they bring a whole new experience and bring, I don't know, a guy from another generation. And Sabrina actually got promoted to the Elite Four. Because, as you all know, Bruno takes part of Johto and Kanto Elite Four. And Lance takes part of the Kanto Elite Four and Johto Champion. Now, I don't know how I feel about them occupying two places at the same time. Maybe they should take out Bruno and add a Psychic type. So we have an Ice, a Psychic, a Poison, slash Ghost, a Dragon and then the final boss. But I don't know, this is just a random theory I decided to make up because we're playing Super Far Red at the moment in this channel and Super Far Red is a harder version of Far Red. And I was like, what if they had a bloody galley? Because in my team I just fainted a Glaceon because of burn. So what if this team actually beamed me a galley and a Mega U2X? But anyway guys, this was just a theory, make sure you leave your own thoughts and ideas about this in the comments down below and tell me if you already know that Sabrina was a Team Rocket grunt. If you read the manga you probably know, but in my case I never read the mangas, so here's was new to me. But anyway, I'm Pocketch and this was all for the theory, peace out.